Ladies and gents and everyone in between, welcome to Player 2 First, your Player 2 and we're Player 1. Welcome back everyone to episode, nope, chapter 20, episode, insert number here, of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We are going to be defending Talrega today. Woo! I don't know if there's much more to it. That's it. The kingdom of Dayan lies on the northernmost edge of Tellius. Its coastline is bathed in the icy currents of the northern sea, and frigid winds howl inland with terrible ferocity. As a result, Dayan winters are raw and brutal. Ice and snow scour the land, leaving frozen scars in their wake. Through these blizzards, General Ike and the Crimean army press ever forward. Benyon's Imperial Senate may have lent Crimea troops, but even they doubt that the army can successfully fight off Dayan. Yet somehow, Ike and company defy all odds and capture victory after victory. Embracing both Princess Alincia's dream of a liberated Crimea and the tragic history of his parents, Ike marches in grim silence. Is this where he comes back? Oh, I miss him so much. He comes back soon. Please come back soon. This can only mean one thing. The enemy knows exactly how we are going to move. With your permission, I'll begin an investigation to see if there's anyone suspicious among the troops. Ike. Ike, are you all right? Hmm? Oh, yes. Sorry. What is it? Nothing. I was just giving you the standard update. Shall I put it off till later? No, sorry. But can you start over from the beginning? I'll pay attention this time. Understood. Good morning, you two. What's wrong, Ike? You look so sleepy. I've... had a lot on my mind. I meant to sleep last night, but I was up thinking. Before I knew it, it was morning. Really? I never thought I'd hear that. Ike didn't sleep because he was thinking. I wonder if Soren will start being polite. Listen, Titania. Can I just... B brother Ike! What's wrong, Mist? What am I gonna do, Ike? My medallion's gone! What? It's gone? No! What am I going to do? It was my only memento of mother! Did you drop it? Or put it somewhere and forget? Something like that? No, I always carry it with me. I would never lose it. I had it before I went to bed last night. It vanished while I was sleeping. Ah. Don't cry. It's not your fault. But... but... So I said don't cry. I'll find it, alright? Alright. Sorry. Oh. Uh, are you serious? You're to begin immediately. Yet that's... General Patrine. If we do this thing, Dayan will suffer. It's for the good of the country. Besides, it's only one territory. Stop mewling like an old woman. I hear you, and yet... If the goal is merely to stop the Crimean army, this is not necessary. The strength of... Of my troops will suffice to- The last idiot who told me that ended up on a corpse pile. Now listen to me and listen well. No matter how passionate you are when you tell me you'll defeat Crimea, I'll never pin my hopes on a bunch of foreigners. All you have to do is stop their forward progress. That's all. My plan will accomplish this. General Patrine, do you truly think so little of us? It's true that we were born in Benyon and not Dayan, but my men and I have been loyal to this country for 18 years. We have spared no effort to learn all the proper manners and customs of this land. But now, after all that, to be dismissed as a bunch of foreigners... No one asked how long you've lived here. Want to know why? Because no one cares. Certainly not me. Where were you born, huh? Where were you raised? Ha! <laughs> this country doesn't need squatters like you. The only people Dayan can count on in times of crisis are Dayans themselves. Everyone else is just gutter leavings. So we're useless. Is that what you're saying? You tell me, migrant. Why is it that your unit, which was trained to be an elite royal guard, is here patrolling this hick-infested backwater? The answer's clear to me. How about you? I... I... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I offending you? Well, here's your chance to show us your worth. Halt Crimea's advance. If you are as skilled as you claim, you should be able to limit the damage to a bare minimum, should you not? Humph! Angry is a good look for you. 
I look forward to seeing the results of your work. Get going, Outlander! Josh, <laughs> must we truly go through with this? It's such a horrific act. It's only recently the citizens hereabouts have even come to trust us. We have no choice but to obey. It's as the woman says. The only thing we can do is ensure the Crimean army is defeated as soon as possible. General... Open the floodgates. Do it now. Ike, just a bit more. Would you mind hearing my report of our last battle? Uh, sure. Go ahead, please. Very well. Marsha. Seventy thousand dollars. That's so many dollars. <laughs> yes, and almost seven hundred bonus experience, which that's solid. It's more than we usually get. You see, we usually get like fifty to one fifty per chapter. Mm -hmm. So that's a solid chunk. Oh yeah. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. That is all. With your leave, I will excuse myself. And we're back in base again. Oh yeah. Oh. Yup. Yeah, gotta be. Well, uh, well, it's too late now. <sighs> Phew. Hey, Boyd. I'm sorry for being, being such a drag. You can't help but being a slow walker. Don't worry. You're doing fine. You really think so? Aw, oh, thanks, Boyd. You know, I may not be in the best shape, but I've got more tenacity than anyone. A farmer's work lasts all year round, after all. You gotta have pre patience. All year, huh? Oop. Tell me, Pops, do you enjoy working in the fields? You bet. Sure. I got my share of worries, like bugs and animals and bad weather, but it's all worth it come harvest time. Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, I was just thinking. The farming life is the complete opposite of what we mercenaries do. I mean, if a farmer gets to bring life to the world, and his work keeps everyone going. But mercenaries, we kill people, and we break things, and... Well, we bring death, not life. Aw, oh, don't talk it down like that. You get to fight for what's right and protect people. Hey, don't get me wrong. The ground mercenaries are my family, and I'll do my best because I like it. I mean, what? <laughs> I do my job because I like it. But, you know what? What? Break time's over. Up and at him, Pops. Back to the training. W what? Wait, it's only been a... Hold on. Aw, oh, shucks. Yeah, he would. He doesn't hit me with anybody. Right? He can't. Because Misty. Right. So right, I think, I think Boyd's. I think he's done, done. Boyd is done, yeah. Yeah. That's it for today. Ah. Yoo you there, young man. I have business with the general of this army. Would you convey a message? Who are you? Who am I? What kind of lowborn greeting is that? My name is Kellil, and I am a first-class mage. What would a first-class mage want with this army? What's your problem? You look as if you don't believe me. Well, I suppose I can't hold that against you. It's not often you find beauty like this coupled with intelligence like mine. But it's true nonetheless. Mage, huh? Well, I guess you can have never, never have too many mages lying around. Oh, and as a bonus, I'm quite skilled with a knife as well. Beauty, brains, and brawn. <sighs> the goddess has seen fit to put the abilities of three people into one delectable package. Sounds like favoritism, doesn't it? Um... Hello? Are you listening to me? There's a beautiful woman talking. Yeah. The point is that you want to join the Crimean army, right? How much are you planning to charge? Well, aren't you the little businessman? Let's see. How does free sound? Suspicious. What's the catch? I like my fees to be based on performance. Watch how I do in combat, and make me an offer. Depending on what it is, I'll decide whether or not to grace you with my assistance. You're not lacking for confidence, are you? Of course not! I already told you, I am a first-class mage. Uh, <laughs> Dan would kill me, like, we'll right end here. you. <laughs> Alright, you're in. What? Are you allowed to make decisions like that on your own? 
Perhaps I should speak to the general. I am the general. What? Woman. That's all it said. Woman. Rayson. Could you come down here for a moment? What do you need? I've got something I want to ask you about. If I can help, I will. Your... Your ancestors... Forget it, it's nothing. What? Is something wrong? I apologize. Please, let it go. It seems like something important has happened, but if you do not want to discuss it, that is your right. However, if this weren't a battlefield, your secret might not be safe. Please take care in the future. What do you mean? We of the Heron Clan. If we choose to, we can read the thoughts of others. Seriously? However, this power is only available to us in a calm and peaceful environment. Here in the desperate maelstrom of chaotic emotion, it avails me not. Energy here is warped and distorted. You know, now that you mention it, Rayson, are you feeling sick? You're so pale that it's hard to tell, but I think your face looks more wan than usual. Pay it no mind. I'm... fine. You've got nothing to prove. Why don't you stay off the battlefield for a while? Ike? I'm fine, I promise. Please do not give me special treatment. As far as giving you special treatment goes, I don't really have a choice. I promised King Phoenicius I wouldn't push you too hard. If anything were to happen to you, I'd be at war with Dayan and the Bird Clans at the same time. I see. I came to repay my debt, but I'm really just being a burden. That was not my intention. Hold on a moment. Who said anything about you being a burden? I cannot engage in combat, so I'm nothing more than an obstacle in the field. Rayson, no, that's absurd. Don't you understand how useful your abilities are? No one else can do the things that you can. You're irreplaceable. So if you're not feeling well and tried to do too much, you may not be there when we really need you. I'm of use to you then. <laughs> that's what I've been trying to tell you. We depend on you, and that's why I need to make sure you stay healthy. In that case, I wouldn't mind taking a short break. But you can call me any time. I'll come right away. I got it. See you guys in a second. Here we go! My Lord Ike, were you able to find the medallion? No. It's gone. I fear that Dayan may have somehow stolen it. What? Is such a thing possible? I don't know what to... I don't know to what degree, but there can be no questioning Dayan's involvement. Is the medallion... special? Yes. Oh, yes. I beg your pardon. What is it? My question may have touched a sensitive area. Oh, no. It's not that I don't want to discuss it with you personally. I just can't really talk about it to anyone. It's a private matter. Ah, I see. Ike. What is it, Elki? I hear the sound of rushing water just ahead. A lot of it. Rushing water? According to the map, there's a large river up ahead. That must be what you hear. This is unnatural. Warped. It is not the sound of a normal river. General Ike! Sir, we've got trouble. The road ahead is blocked by water. What? How can that be? Perhaps a local river has flooded. The whole region is soaking wet. Is the road completely impassable? No, sir. We can move forward, but the water's turned the ground to mud. And the water is still flowing at a tremendous rate, sir. This is going to cut back our speed dramatically. This is the work of Dayan. They thought to impede our progress in order to gain some time for themselves. And they succeeded. Blast! Is there nothing we can do? Well, if they were able to flood the road only when we approached, there must be floodgates in the area. So if we can close them, we'll shut off the flow of water, right? That makes sense. Let's get some scouts looking for gates. What's that? Hey, if you're looking for something, leave it to me. I am the Hawk King's eyes, after all. What do you mean? These peepers of mine I can see for miles and miles. They're quite handy. It would be a shame not to use them. Is that some Lagoo's power? You're a hawk with the eyes of a... hawk? Beats your fantastic wit? My eyesight isn't just a, isn't a racial ability, it's my own natural talent. Heck, my pal Oki has ears that can hear grass growing on the other side of the country. I see. 
Well then, the job's yours. Do you think you can find the floodgates? I just look for some openings with a lot of water pouring out, right? Yeah, I can handle that. Oh, Janap, I love you. <laughs> I love your haircut, too. Yeah. My hair doesn't do that. Nah. I mean, it's so physically impossible for hair to do that, but... <laughs> <laughs> the Crimean army is here. All troops, combat formations. Hit them fast and hard. We can't let this battle drag out. So those are the floodgates. If we can get them closed, the water will recede in about 12 hours or so. Alright, let's get going. So you'll notice that we get very few units for this particular chapter. Yes. And you'll notice that there are some units we are going to choose not to bring for this particular chapter. Yep. Um, specifically Jill. Yeah, mostly just one. <laughs> the reason being that we've had enough leading up to this saying don't bring Jill to fight her father that we're gonna heed that. It is an interesting thing you can do. It is. You know, if you've ever been so inclined as to lose your best unit. Lose a unit. I don't know if Jill's our best unit. She may not be in this playthrough, but in just as many playthroughs as she isn't, she is the best unit. Sure. I have to worry about swords again. Or bows again. Oh, I was like, why? Why swords? Oh, jeez. We got rid of this. We did take away it, yeah. Okay, alright, good, good. That's one. No, that's not gonna be it. That's one. Maybe one more. And one, maybe two more. One or two more, depending on if you can get some, like, spare experience. Yeah. They're all so slow. I know. Should give him, like, the thief band. Yeah. Why is he so slow? Yeah, Tree. <laughs> he moves so much. Oh yeah. We gave Miss the Sonic Sword, <laughs> and because her magic is bananas and a half, and the Sonic Sword uses magic, um... She has 31 attack right now. Which, if you were curious... I am curious makes her tied for the highest in the entire party. Yeah. So, so friggin' missed. Yeah, missed everybody. Are you kidding? All right. Bruh. Crit. I don't even remember if there was a chance. I don't think there was. The other interesting thing about Mist is that because of her unique status as like our best healer, um, and the fact that she has a whole bunch of supports with literally everybody. Um, she can basically be anywhere on the map and be benefiting somebody there, and she's one of our strongest units now. Mist is hard to get going. She's very bad at the beginning. Yeah. Her magic is really poor, her defense is, like, unusable. So, be wary of the fact that she... <laughs> so on top of having given Gatry boots, which gives him two extra movement, we also gave him the Night Ring that we just got from Nysala, which means that after he moves, after he does a thing, he can use the remainder of his movement. <laughs> you know, like a paladin. Yeah, Gatry's basically a paladin. He and Astrid are the perfect supports for each other. They are. Why do you think we put them together? Almost like we planned it. Almost. Oh, making a lot of use out of that bow. That started very weakened. Did it? Yeah, it was not weakened, I guess. It's not the right word for that, but... Is sword in your range? Sure is. Huh. Whoopsie. Uh-huh. Nothing you can do now. <laughs> I mean, I can rescue him, but it's probably not worth it. 24. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, <laughs> like halfway across the map. Yeah. But she doesn't need to do that anymore. That's right. Because she actually she can, can kill people. Yeah. Can attack. In general, we, um... We'll just use whatever staff we can, whenever we can, whenever always. But, like... A physic, you're not, we're not going to waste a physic on 46 to 47 <laughs> HP. 
General, how long are the floodgates to remain open? Until the Crimean army has been defeated. Sir, if we wait that long, all of the neighboring farmland will be drowned. The locals are already quite upset. They may not abide by this much further. General! Enough, soldier. If you've got the time to be belly aching, take your butt out to the battlefield and kill some Crimean soldiers. Captain Har, do you support this action? This is inhumane. Lives will be ruined. And citizens will die. Even if we claim that it's necessary in order to achieve victory, this is too much. This is Dayan's way. Are you ready to disobey the king and be put to death for your troubles? But to the death? Put to the death for your troubles? I would rather die than kill innocent Dayan civilians. If you're executed as a traitor to the throne, your parents and siblings will also pay. Are you still prepared? Now do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Go. Fight bravely. Y yes sir. To gain the trust of the king, we've become cruel and heartless. First hunting and executing the Lagoos, and now flooding the lands people call home. General Shiharam, if someone hears you use the word Lagoos in this country, you'll be branded a traitor. <laughs> You're right as always. To live in this land where Lagoos prejudice is so virulent, we've had to seal away everything we know and teach our children to hate all subhumans. All that just to survive here. It's Ashnar's fault this country has become what it is today. Ah, oh, what a terrible miscalculation we made. Even so, I... I hated the idea of furthering the corruption of the Imperial Senate. I will continue to support your reasons for leaving Benyon. I wonder if Jill has distanced herself from the Crimean forces. I did... give her warning. Above all else, I would like to avoid meeting my daughter in combat. I pray that she does not take to the field this day. Knowing her temperament, talking with you would only increase both of your sorrows. I have but one favor to ask of you. Say it and it will be done. Do not fight today. What? Only one side can win a battle. If we are defeated in the end, I want you to care for the survivors and their families. Yes, sir. Commander Shehran. Commander, it's been many a long year since you last called me that. May the fortunes of war be with you. Through all that's happened, it's been an honor to serve with you. Hmm. Got some feelings there. Nobody is ever really truly right in war. Mm mm. Should give her all provoke. Mmm. And both of our snipers can have provoke. <laughs> <laughs> that means that one more one more kill and he'll be enough. Yeah. Kill it. Oh. Sure. Whatever you want, bro. As okay. you wish. Okay. <laughs> Why not? All right. She's doing well for herself. That's fun. Oh yes. I see that one on the on the track. Yep. And Astrid's doing things. Huh. <laughs> guy wants to be healed. He didn't heal him. Bruh. <laughs> Bro, that's the worst. It's like, hey man, I need healing. That's, Fuck that's you. nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Oof. I mean, yeah. yeah. Or I can just start, like, leaving that. Like, not cutting to when we're back, just leaving the space. And then me just reaching over to... <laughs> well, you won't see the reach. You'll see the reach back. 
see me getting back into my seat. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I just need you to hit something. Like, the sword. For real. I can't use the sword. No, hit the sword guy. Sword guy's almost dead. I just need him to hit something, though. Yeah. Well, it was more what had the highest percentage for him to hit. Gotcha. It's happening! <laughs> the last time we'll see this on this playthrough. The last melon. <laughs> it's a different thing. <laughs> That'll work. All right. That'll work. Now we can use swords! Good thing he has one! Yay! Alright, so Ike is back to priority number one. For experience. He'll do alright. Yeah, he'll do alright. Oh. <laughs> Hit her. <laughs> I just want her to have wrath. Is that bad? Is it bad to wish for a wrath to fall upon that man? <laughs> for Nephany's wrath? Nah. Bruh. Actually, use her sword for it. <laughs> Since staves can't be equipped in this game, you can use a staff and still have your sword be equipped. Yes. That is actually true of every Fire Emblem game, except one. Being mm -hmm. radiant done. Yep. For those of you who are planning on playing, you actually can hit things with your staves. Your radiant That's dawn. right. My Reese did one damage to a Wyvern Rider once. Did you kill it? No. Because that's what you gotta manipulate. You gotta manipulate the, the staff kill. The wyvern rider missed. He did one damage and then <laughs> missed again. I was like, yeah! <laughs> Reese! And Lagoos will be able to attack when they're not transformed in Radiant Dawn as well. That's right. Because it makes sense. They can still punch you. And they're still, like, real buff. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. That's so much damage. <laughs> Jesus. It's disheartening to see that. It happens. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh, hurt. All right, Brom. Let's see what you got. Do it. Oh. This is how you do it. <laughs> you see this, Brom? He's like, I'm sorry, I'm just behind. <laughs> Rolf. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. 
24 to a paladin. Oh, and we mentioned before that Mist's attack is tied for the most with Gatry, but Gatry goes against defense, which most of the units are, whereas Mist's goes against resistance, which means that she really does just straight up have the highest attack for um, most of the units, the physical ones. Mm hmm. Missed really good. That's all I have it is tricky, it. though, because she's not like. You, you can't put her on the front line. Like, she can't help make a wall with Ike and Oscar and Gatry and Brom, but she can kill anyone. You! You filthy crimean! Get out! Get out now! There's nothing in this shack that would make you happy. Oh! So you won't leave till you get something, is that it? Yeah, take this old staff. Now hit the road. You don't need to steal anything else from us. Or will you take my life as well? In that last skirmish, my boy, my only son, you stole his life. Curse you! I hope you're satisfied. War is rough. There's nothing good about it. You could argue that the scientific advancements that come from war are kind of cool, but that's still like a stretch. Longbow. Longbow. Heh. Think. Heh. Flink. He's behind a tree. Ah. Oh. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Phew. I'm gonna have to ask you very politely to die. Thanks. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> What was that noise? It was a lot. Are you ever gonna visit that house? No. Cool, working on it. <laughs> I forgot about that! <laughs> oh, Not as cool as boys. Can't all have the strength of a warrior. The heart of a lion. <laughs> can you one shot this dude? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Just matters what. Why don't you use the iron blade? Because there's 25 times two. What was the steel blade? 27, 27 times two. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, Mr. Really, yeah, since since really the Sonic Sword does win damage, flyers. It's really fun to use. Nice and efficient. So remember how we were like having some troubles with our units not killing all the other units? We're gonna be okay for a little while. I mean, it will pick up again. Cause right now we're facing like a handful of class changed units in an army full of non-class changed units. Um, but at some point, they will all be class changed, just like us, and we're going to deal with that. Yeah. I didn't realize Martha's... Mar Mar wow. <laughs> didn't realize Marsha's strength got all the way up there. She's pretty good. Mm. Pretty good. That's a fun little shuffle step he did there. Stop <laughs> it. Stop all of you having javelins. Oh. It's okay, you get to be like, oh, you wanted to attack from two spaces away? Don't mind if I do. Whoops. Crit! Not you. 
crit. <laughs> Didn't crit. Oh. She's definitely shooting straight. Yep. The game saying that he does not actually have the high ground. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's make up for that last one. Mm, yeah. I would like that on both of them, but mm. you know. Hold on, youngster. Who do you think you are? You can't just come barging into people's homes. Let me tell you something. You can ransack my home all you want, but you'll find nothing of value here. All our young men have been dragged off to war, and all that's left are women and children. If it's gold you're after, take that scroll on the floor there. You may be able to sell it. <laughs> scroll, I just, I don't know. Scroll on the floor. <laughs> it's just something I picked up. So I don't know if it has any value, but take it away, you dirty thief. Smite. That's not where I'm meant to be. That's where I'm meant to be. And Two. handle it. <laughs> Great. Handle it. Handled. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh. In case you were wondering how old I am. 137. I'm in my sixth. That. Sixth generation. <laughs> Oh. Handle it, miss. Yeah. It's like a perfect chapter for her to be using, like, finally class changed and using this weapon because yeah. everything is either a general or a knight or a week of wind or. Yeah. Now, worth noting. Is that while we were in base, we gave Miss two arm scrolls to make her a B in swords because she starts off as a D, which Sonic Sword is a B sword, and as we showed you before, or as we talked about at least, um, Miss trying to use a sword like an iron sword just isn't helpful at all. It's attack 13 and never do any damage, and it's just a slog again to try to get her to naturally level up her sword level. So we used, we had two arm scrolls from before, so we used those. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, is that, um, Blizzard? Mm hmm I was puzzled as to why he couldn't attack you back. Yep, please, please. Please, please. Oh. Ah, yes, being a sage, you can do that. Wow, that sage must not have that much magic. It's also a heal, and that's a lot of health. Well, it's wow. like 20. My weapon riders have a lot of health. <laughs> <laughs> Something hit me, please. Put me in half. Is it half or below, or is it below half? Like, if she had 16, would she be in wrath? Or does it have to be 15? I think it's 50%, so I believe it's 16 would be fine. Cool, cool. I believe it's phrased as like you have to have 50% of your... Are at half or less. There you go. It's, it's written well. Bulganone. Bulganone! So that is the... F no, it's not. That is the A level fire magic. It's got a really cool animation, guys, I swear. It does. Oh, that's something special. Yes. It doesn't it doesn't do any more damage than usual. No. It just looks really cool. Yeah, it looks really cool and it gets you your HP back, which is really oh, oh, which is really helpful. But Oscar rarely has low HP. But we gave it to him because he will be on the front lines a lot, and so we do want him to be able to get that HP back should he need it. Yes. Because Ike's gonna be on the front lines a lot, and therefore Oscar's gonna be going with him places because their support makes them do well together. Oh shoot. I should have I should have him. Yeah. Well, it's gonna pick up the slack here. <laughs> I mean 
mean, you three are kind of done. I was gonna say, what can you do with them? <laughs> Except for the wyverns to come back. That one wyvern. Yeah. But he has to be in a place where he will stay so that I can hit him again. Yeah. Oh, oh. hey. <clears throat> Handle it. Handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep firing. That's upsetting. Is that just fire? L fire. Ooh. Tomahawk. So he has a tomahawk, which is a two, it's really powerful two range, or one or two range uh, axe. If I'm not mistaken, it's B? It's a great question. B, yep. yes. And he does have a full guard as well. So we can't, can't using, using bows or wind will not, oof. Is that at the extent of her range or can she move again? Okay, great, that's fine. Yeah, she can move one face. Oops. I'm so Neither sorry. Neither of us. Something. I'm so sorry. A. Because Miss doesn't care. Wait till the next time he talks. Yes. Poor Shehiram. He's very good. Neither of us desires a drawn out battle. Come, hold nothing back. Har, the rest is up to you. Jill. Now the other thing that's good about him missing is that we get the tomahawk and the uses that he would have Yay. gotten rid of if he hit us, didn't get rid of. That's English. Yeah. The uses didn't get rid of. You got the tomahawk. So this chapter does require you to finish in 15 turns or fewer. We've done it in eight. We've gotten both houses, filled every unit. And part of that is because every single one of our units has class changed at this point, which Oops. the game is not prepared for. Oh, what a warrior level up. Oh, hey. Should I finish it or not? Um, I mean, finish it on this turn, just. I have a much stronger weapon. Ah. What weapon was that? The Goose Lance. Ah. Go for the far one, I'd say. Because Gatry can reach that one. Probably. I don't think Gatry can reach this one. Anyway, if he could, it's fine. Ah, yeah. Someone's in the way. Get out of my no, way! He's not in the way. Oh, run away. <laughs> duh, duh, duh. Oh, there you go. I mean, he still needs to level up his stab, so. That's true. We can just take the remainder of the turns to do that. Ah. No, no one else is, like, really hurt. Okay. It's not really worth risking the deaths. I've, me I've messed up and miscounted the turns, so it's bad. General Ike, sir, the floodgates have been closed. Sorin, what's the damage to the surrounding area? It's terrible. All of the fields and homes have been completely destroyed. I see. I don't think this is what the enemy general wanted either. So why did this have to happen? It's heartless. What will happen to those who have lost their homes? Can we do anything to help them? You want to aid the people of our enemy. That is time and energy we cannot afford. Sorin, take a portion of our supplies and distribute it amongst the locals. What? Are you serious? Our opponent is the Dayan army. We've no quarrel with these people. Ike, I know you feel for these people, but this is war. We don't have- I don't know what it will accomplish, Sorin. 
but moving on without lifting a finger is something I cannot do. I understand. I'd rather regret something I had done than regret taking no action at all. I would like to help too. Perhaps I can aid the injured. Idiocy. I think lunacy is a better word. Hmm. Oh, father. Jill, no matter the reasons, I'm the one who took your father from you. I can't use this war as an excuse. If you want revenge on me for your father, I understand. You have... that right. Once you've had some time to think things through, let me know what you will do. I'd like to have you stay with us, but it's really up to you. That's all I had to say. One, two, three, five in all. We're lucky to have that many. Captain Ha, what are we supposed to do now? General Shiharem is dead, and our homes are gone. What are we to do with our, with our families? What do you want to do? We've lost any right we had to stay here. So that leaves Benyon or Crimea. General Shiharem was slain by Crimea. Joining with them now is not... It's not possible. Then all you can do is return to Benyon. I doubt you'll get a hero's welcome, but... I'm an old... I have an old friend in the Pegasus Knights. Shall I contact her? Ah, oh, gods. Eighteen long years. What does any of it mean now? Don't say that. No matter what, I'm proud to have served under General Shehram. You're right. It was an honor. Never ends. Nope. Then neither does this voice. <laughs> well, that's that. We've gained some time by flooding the river, but it won't hold them for long. I knew that foreign cur was useless. It looks like a decisive battle will be fought near the capital. Preparations are complete, General Petri. In order to ease command for you, Sir Brian will serve as your deputy. Regarding strategy, it would be easiest if you spoke with him directly. Sorry to tell you this, Ina but I'm not the one who will be directing our forces in the capital. Will it be the Black Knight then? Hmm. The plans must be adjusted slightly. I'll select someone else to act as deputy. No, not him either. His Majesty wishes you to direct the defenses, Ina. Me? I am to take command of the army. That's right. You're moving up in the world, General Ina. Uh, it's too much for me. I must confirm this with the king. Ha! What a rare sight this is! I've never seen you so flustered. Listen, if you wish to meet with his majesty, you must fulfill your duties. He's ordered that there be no communications until that time. I'm a bit late. Well, if it isn't the big black knight. It's been such a long time. You're always so very busy, aren't you? Here one day, there the next. Your secret maneuvers are... They are proof of the trust His Majesty has placed in me. Ina, go to the East Gate. You have a visitor. Very well. Is it the worm? Did he bring it with him? It appears so. He insists that he give it directly over to Ina, though. Hmm. As long as it's ours, it makes no difference. When Ina returns, you will be the one to take it directly to the king. Show care that it is not unwrapped on the way there. That could be... unfortunate. I don't need to be told that. More importantly, what will you do now? Me? I will... Ina, have you been well? Where is Laron's medallion? Right here. Take it, please. It feels so heavy. And it's not all the wrapping, either. Could this be the chaotic energy of an evil god? So, you can now return to King Ashnard's side, can you not? No, not yet. What do you mean? I've been entrusted with the defense of the capital. I... must face the Crimean army. No. Thank you. You've done so much for me, but now it's... it's enough. 
Please, reclaim your freedom. There's no need for you to follow Dayan's orders any longer. And you? Do you mean to die? No. I cannot retreat. Even if I have to slaughter the entire Crimean army, I will return to him. Yet he thinks nothing of you. It matters not. The only place I belong is at his side. I will most likely never see you again. I will pray for your eternal happiness. Ina, wait! Forget about me. That is my final request. Farewell, Nasir. Ina. The plot thickens. <laughs> always does. There's always oh. It's always Fire another gets you. Anyway, with Nasir being revealed as the worm, Laron's medallion has been entrusted to Ina's keep who it will be given to Petrine, at which point it will be given to Ashnard. Ina also looking forward to a battle now, which she will command. And for some reason, she's very apprehensive about that. We will find out what that's all about, I suppose. And until then, see you later. (laughs) 